One Pizza Hut Big Dinner Box, 4,950 calories. A second Pizza Hut Big Dinner Box, 5,050 calories. One Big Dinner Box itself is meant to serve four hungry people. Today, I attempt to take down two entire boxes to myself. All right, everybody, it is time for some epic pizza action. Which reminds me, I need to slip into something just a little bit more fitting. You guys know I had to do it, all right? We're about to eat a lot of pizza right now, and I just felt like this was the appropriate shirt for this challenge, everyone. Whew, I am excited for this one, all right? This is going to be absolutely delicious. And by the way, everyone, I decided to give you all a different little angle into my kitchen, and yeah, this is how we're gonna do things from now on. You have to let me know if you guys like this angle. All right, I just felt like it was time for a little bit of a change. So on this table right now, I have two big dinner boxes from Pizza Hut. Each big dinner box contains two medium-sized pizzas, five breadsticks, and you can choose between wings or you can choose between pasta. So me being me, I decided to get everything. Every single thing. And I am super excited about this challenge because I love pizza and I love Pizza Hut. This is going to be absolutely, oh my gosh. Oh man, this is going to be, I don't even know how I'm gonna be able to do this. Maybe I could like put these. Should I do it like that? No. I think I'm actually gonna start with this one first. So I'm gonna start with this box first, everyone. We have a meat lovers pizza right here. That is looking absolutely delicious. And this pizza is the buffalo chicken pizza. And then I got a classic Alfredo pasta with some cheese sticks because I had breadsticks in the other box and cheese sticks just sounded better. If you believe in me and you think I'm gonna be able to take all this down, go ahead and comment down below, dough, because this is going to be a lot of dough. In fact, that's actually going to be the most difficult part of this challenge. Anyways, everyone, I am starving and I'm ready to get this challenge started. Without further ado, my friends, my family, this is the Pizza Hut Big Dinner Box Challenge, times two. I think I'm gonna start with the meat lovers first. Man, this is looking absolutely delicious. Three, two, and one. Boom. <clears throat> so good. So far, it is tasting absolutely amazing. I personally love Pizza Hut's pizza. The crust they use just, oh, it just does it for me. But I don't think I've ever had their ranch before. Not bad. Pizza Hut's ranch just might not be cutting it right now, but you know, we can just throw some oil sauce on top instead. <laughs> Woo! That is gonna get a dummy! Oh! Well, our first pizza is down. So far, it's going absolutely amazing. I think I'm gonna get on over to these uh, delicious cheese sticks right here. Oh my goodness. The Parmesan cheese, the garlic, just, there's nothing like a good cheese stick. So good. It's time for some marinara sauce. I don't know what I'm seeing right now. Ooh, good as those breadsticks were. Delicious, but we're filling. All right, now I think I'm gonna move on over to this pasta right here. This is like a Alfredo pasta? Yeah. Ooh, man, that is looking, that is looking pretty good. I mean, it doesn't compare to the pasta at Domino's, but this is still pretty sensational. down. Goodness. Whew. I love pizza challenges, everyone. <laughs> but they are, uh, they are pretty difficult. But we carry on regardless. Now I'm gonna move on over to this buffalo chicken pizza right here. This is looking good. We're getting some delicious healthy vegetables with our red onion. pizza left so far. Do it as good as I can do. 
I do need to know though, are you the type of person that dips their pizza in marinara sauce or are you anti-marinara sauce? Comment down below. All right, well, our first pizza box is down. I gotta say that was very, very tasty. Ugh, and also very, very filling. Now it's time for round two. Oh, I got a burp. All right, now in this box we have the classic Pizza Hut pepperoni pizza, and then we have the classic Pizza Hut cheese pizza with some OG breadsticks and some honey barbecue wings. Do I do cheese or pepperoni? I think I'm gonna do the cheese. It ain't easy being this cheesy. Nothing hits like a cheese pizza from Pizza Hut, okay? Like, Pizza Hut, what are you putting in your cheese pizza? This stuff is just legendary. For some reason, this cheese pizza is bringing back some serious nostalgia for me right now. Now, you all may not know this, but before I started doing food challenges on YouTube, I pushed carts at Target. Every single morning, I would walk in to start my shift. Pizza Hut would open up their doors and I would smell this delicious cheese pizza <sighs> every single morning. Man, there is nothing like it, I'll tell you all right now. Mm. Absolutely nothing like it. Papa John's is usually the one that dominates the garlic sauce game. But let's see what Pizza Hut can do. Okay, Pizza Hut, not bad. Goodness gracious. All right, well, our uh, third pizza is down. Pizza is uh, delicious, but man. The crust is just dense. All right, now we're going to get into our boneless buffalo. No, these are not buffalo wings. These are our bo boneless honey barbecue wings. These look absolutely amazing. Here we go. Let's get some protein in. Just because we didn't have enough sauce. down. Whew. All right, now so I'm gonna move on over to uh, our pepperoni. I gotta add some extra deliciousness to this though, because you all know that I'm about innovation, and I'm all about doing something very, very special called exhausterizing. And I'm exhausterizing right now in style. Dummy. All right, boy. Looks like I have half a pizza left. I am very much regretting saving these breadsticks for last. Just putting that out there. Whew, yeah, those are gonna be rough to get down. We carry on. One bite at a time. Thank goodness for this garlic sauce. Just gotta get to the breadsticks. Almost there. Now, the barrier to completing this challenge fully is this, this wall of breadsticks. I mean, this wall of breadsticks is normally a really delicious, delectable item. But right now, it's my enemy. But I must eat it. You're looking at me with disgust, but I know some of you out there did this when you were kids. Or maybe it was just me. If you guys are still with the flow of the video, go ahead and comment down below, Fred, because that's what my nightmare is gonna be about tonight. Just like that Electric Empire, that has been the double big dinner box challenge from Pizza Hut. My favorite pizza was just that cheese pizza. That cheese pizza was absolutely amazing, everyone. But there's one thing that Pizza Hut has that is absolutely delicious to me, so you know what time it is. It's time for a little bonus round. 
if y'all don't know about the bonus round, well, it's my version of dessert. For tonight's dessert, we have Pizza Hut's delicious, warm, gooey, chocolatey cookie. This thing is absolutely legendary. What's also legendary are their Cinnabon Cinnabites. I just gotta say, these are probably one of the most underrated desserts in fast food. I probably shouldn't be eating dessert at all, so I'm just gonna get a little bit of both. Let's get ourselves a uh, semi-normal slice. Moist, delicious, just nuts and nutritious. That is gonna get a W. And just like that, everyone, that has been another food challenge. Hopefully you all enjoyed it. If you did enjoy this one, the party does not have to end here. I'm gonna go ahead and put another pizza challenge that I've done right along the sidebar for you all to enjoy, along with another food challenge playlist that I have. If you're new around here and love food challenges, subscribe to the channel down below, give the video a like, and I'll see you all in the next food challenge.